In this question, we are given the mass and the acceleration distance graph for an object, and we have to find the work done on this object. Let's start by using this equation from subtopic 2.3, where W is work, F is force, S is distance, and theta is the angle between the force and the direction of the distance traveled. So I will write W is equal to, and then I will bring in this equation from subtopic 2.2, where F is force, M is mass, and A is acceleration, and I will replace F by MA in the equation below. So I will get M times A times S. Since there is no information about the angle, for now I will just assume that the direction of the force and the distance traveled is the same, so the angle between them is zero, and cosine zero is equal to one. Now let's focus on this part of our expression, so the acceleration and distance traveled. We note that these are the two variables on the two axes in our graph. We could simply substitute values into a times s, however acceleration in our case is not constant, because it drops after 15 meters. So the way to calculate the acceleration times the distance in this case is to find the area under the graph. Let's start by finding this area, which is a rectangle, so its area will be 20 times 15, giving us 300. Second, let's find the area of this triangle. The area of a triangle is base times height, so we get 20 times 10, where 10 is the base of this triangle, between 15 and 25, divided by 2. So we get 200 over 2, giving us 800. Now we can go back and work out W. So this is equal to the mass, which is 3 times AS, which we found to be 300 plus 800, so 400 in total. 3 times 400 gives us 1200 joules. Therefore, the answer to this question is C.